National Geographic's Pristine Seas team has just jumped into the water at one of the most legendary dive sites on the planet, Darwin Island. And it doesn't take long to see their first shark. These are silky sharks, some of the most abundant sharks in the world. They're quick, aggressive, and inquisitive. Ideal for a shark expert like Jess Cramp. I dare say that I love sharks, like one of those crazy cat ladies. Sharks have a bad rap. The media portrays them as man-eating monsters, which is not true. Swimming with sharks is really calming, as long as you stay calm. They get bored of you before you're bored of them, and then generally they take off. Further down, they see some of the important predators that were missing at Wolf Island. It was extraordinary. We saw this big tuna zooming by like giant torpedoes. Predators like tuna and rainbow runners fill out the food chain. They also give birth to one of the most magnificent underwater spectacles, the bait ball. Swarming in tight packs, they use strength and numbers as a defense against the rainbow runners hunting them. It is a ballet of chaos. Being inside is like being in the middle of a hurricane. You could hear the noise of the tails of 200,000 fish moving at the same time. It was like, like thunder. <laughs> That was one of the most extraordinary sights I've ever seen underwater. The bait ball disperses, revealing the other spectacle the scientists came for. We were floating out over the blue and a huge school of hammerheads was down deep, and that was the school I'd been waiting to see. Their numbers are still down this year. But when the El Nino passes, the hammerheads should return. Ah, that was beyond awesome. What an incredible dive. <laughs> <laughs> 